Japan has the perfect climate for aging alcohol. The humidity and temperature levels are steady all year round, which contributes to a powerful flavor. Its rich culture and history adds to the distinctiveness of Japanese whiskey. As a Scotch whiskey lover, would you try to taste and delve into the world of Japanese whiskey? Well, let's see. In Today I Learn, we'll talk about the history of Japanese whiskey and why Scotch whiskey fans will love it. Hey y'all, welcome to Advanced Mixology. Let's get started. What is Japanese whiskey? Japanese whiskeys are typically produced in a continuous still from barley. Suntory, Yamazaki, and Hakushu distillers age their malt in casks that formerly held bourbon, sherry, or other types of wine. The casks are then aged in various locations, some in chilly humid cellars, others in hot warehouses to produce a wide range of flavors and aromas. They are frequently lighter and more fragrant than Scotch whiskey due to the blending procedure. The Japanese are well known for the extensive usage of fruit and other essences like rose petals or cherry blossoms. Hakushu Distillers Reserve is a good example of a smooth, fragrant whiskey that is fruity and honey sweetened. The Sherry Cast 2013 is a Hakushu that has been finished in Pedro Jimenez Sherry Casks to improve sweetness. Suntory Kakubin, on the other hand, is a low cost blended whiskey that is lighter than many Scotch whiskies but still has a pleasant smoky flavor. It's an excellent whiskey for newcomers or those searching for something different than your typical blended scotch. What exactly is Japanese whiskey? Well, it's a one-of-a-kind spirit created from barley and distilled in a continuous still. It is impacted by the type of maturation cask used, as well as the additives utilized. It's light and fragrant with flavors varying depending on the distillery. The History of Japanese Whiskey Japanese whiskey is without a doubt one of the most contentious spirits made anywhere in the world. This is primarily due to the fact that it is rarely discussed and there are numerous myths regarding how it is processed and manufactured. Some say that this sort of whiskey was simply created as a result of Scottish or Canadian whiskey being brought to Japan and then being changed into Japanese whiskey at some point throughout the process. This is absolutely not the case and here's why. Whiskey manufacturing in Japan was already well advanced before World War II, and it began with the Japanese government enacting a variety of laws and regulations that would eventually lead to whiskey distillation becoming permitted. The first legislation enacted was those allowing the distillation of shochu, a Japanese distilled beverage, and it was only a few years later that whiskey manufacturing became allowed. Shinjiro Tori founded the Yamazaki Distillery in 1923, which was the first distillery in Japan. This distillery is still in operation and is one of Japan's most well-known producers. Other distilleries quickly followed and it wasn't long before Japanese whiskey was available to the general public in 1930. The first whiskies produced in Japan were of poor quality. In fact, they could have been some of the worst whiskies anyone has ever had the misfortune of drinking. During World War II, production was suspended and prohibited, and it wasn't until after the war that truly exceptional Japanese whiskies began to emerge on the market. The global rise of Japanese whiskey and the relation between Scotch whiskey and the founder of Japanese whiskey. Whiskey connoisseurs are becoming enamored with Japanese whiskies, many of which are into single malt scotches in their procedures and composition, yet have their own distinct character. Whiskey has a century-long history with Japan with its origins in Scotch in particular. Its forefather, a Japanese man named Masataka Taketsuro, has always been a fan of Scotch whiskey. That's why he traveled to Scotland in 1918 to master the profession. After working as an apprentice at three distilleries, he returned to Japan in 1923 as the master distiller for the Suntory Corporation, eventually starting his own distillery in 1936 known now as Nika. Today, Nika and Suntory are the industry's two biggest names. However, it took decades for the spirit to take flight. When particularly prized bottles began to garner international attention, the demand for Japanese whiskey skyrocketed in the United States and in 2001, 
Whiskey Magazine selected Nika's 10-year Yuichi as its best of the best, and the spirit received even more notice when Suntory Yamazaki Sherry Cast 2013 beat out all other nations to be crowned the world's best whiskey by Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible in 2015. Is whiskey superior to scotch? Well, spirits experts all across the world took notice. Exports to the United States skyrocketed, increasing by more than 1,000% in just 5 years. Today, Japanese whiskies reign supreme with Nika's Taketsuro Pure Malt 17-year-old earning world's best blended malt, and Santori's Hakushu 25-year-old receiving world's best single malt at the 2018 World Whiskies Award. Meanwhile, Japanese whiskies receive a boost in the country, notably in the case of Nika, from an unexpected source pop culture rather than whiskey connoisseurs. Naoki Tomoyoshi, Nika Whiskey's foreign sales chief said in 2014, Japanese government-owned broadcasting firm NHK began the TV series Masan. It was a soap opera based on the story of Nika's creator Masataka Taketsuro and his wife Rita, who accompanied Taketsuro to Japan from Scotland in the 1920s, an uncommon cross-cultural connection at the time. The concert soon drew a lot of notice in Japan and we saw a phenomenal increase in local demand. It has been compared to the Mad Men movement in the United States which rekindled the interest in mid-century drinks. The series lasted 6 months and it seemed as if the whiskey was the hottest of all alcohol categories in Japan during that time. Yuichi Distillery, where the ancient house of Taketsuro and Rita still remain, drew approximately 1 million tourists the following year despite its remote position in Hokkaido, more than an hour's drive from the island's main city of Sapporo. Set on a picturesque stretch of shoreline where the coolness of northern coastal air, it is reminiscent of Scotland in some ways. A climate well suited to long life. The distillery buildings nestled among cherry blossoms make it unique. Nika, like most Scotch whiskies and many others, used to label the majority of its bottles with the length of time the whisky had been matured. However, demand grew so quickly that manufacturing could not keep up. For obvious reasons, a whisky aged for 15 years cannot be replaced overnight. As connoisseurs and even investors from all over the world have piled into stocks of Japanese whisky, Nika and other distillers have been forced to innovate releasing whiskies without age statements that excel in their own right. Japanese whiskey places a strong focus on blending, combining spirits from various barrels to create a complex whole. Nika makes whiskey from what it calls key malts, which are whiskey mixes that each reflect a different flavor. One branded sherry and sweet has rich dried fruit notes from the sherry casks it was matured in, while another dubbed woody and vanillic exhibits the same barrel characteristics and many others. It's an impressive range. Some whiskies are substantially peated while others are little or not at all. Different yeasts and stills contribute to diverse flavors, and the barrels, whether fresh wood or sherry casks, bourbon cask or recharred casks, additionally impart flavor. With these variables, the distiller has more freedom to experiment with its age statement whiskies. Tomoyoshi, a worker at Nika Distillers, explains, we have wonderful and unusual goods that many people may not have tasted if they couldn't get enough of the 15-year single malts. Our regard for tradition as well as our attitude of fine-tuning each procedure to an extreme level have made us unique in today's world, Tomoyoshi continues. Our Yuichi distillery is one of the few remaining distilleries, if not the last, that distills with direct coal fire. This is not because we pioneered a novel, one-of-a-kind way, it's because we appreciated and believed in tradition. That feeling of rigidity pervades Japanese bar culture as a whole. There's a strong preference for the meticulous and ceremonial things. Even an otherwise mundane highball, a two-ingredient cocktail of whiskey and soda, can demonstrate extraordinary attention from the form and clarity of the ice which may even be hand-carved to the presentation of the whiskey bottle while the drink is created, with a creative garnish. With that in mind, why would Scotch whiskey fans love Japanese whiskies? But first, let's take a look at what this drink is. Scotch whiskey, sometimes known as whiskey or scotch, is a malt whiskey or grain whiskey or a blend of the two produced in Scotland. Originally, this drink was created from malted barley. In the late 18th century, commercial distilleries began to introduce whiskey manufactured from wheat and rye. Scotland had 134 Scotch whiskey distilleries active as of 2020. 
All of these beverages must be matured for at least three years in wood barrels. Any numerical age declaration on a bottle of Scotch whiskey must reflect the age of the youngest whiskey utilized to manufacture that product. Guaranteed age whiskey is a spirit with an age statement. A whiskey that lacks an age statement is known as no age statement or NAS whiskey. And the only guaranteed is that all of the whiskey in the bottle is at least three years old. According to regulations, the minimum bottling strength is 40% alcohol by volume. Single malt scotch whiskey, single grain scotch, blended malt scotch, or previously known as vatted malt, or pure malt. Blended grain scotch whiskey and blended scotch whiskey are the five distinct kinds of this alcoholic drink. Now, scotch whiskey fans will love Japanese whiskey because they do not have a great difference when it comes to flavor. The majority of Japan's biggest distilleries actually import the majority of their ingredients from Scotland, according to Men's Journal. They use malted and sometimes even peated barley from the isles. Individuality in taste is derived from minute aspects of the Japanese distilling process, such as the water source. The mythical water used by Yamazaki Distillery comes from mountains near Tokyo the shape of the distilling stills, and the type of wood used to make the aging barrels. Some distilleries use imported bourbon barrels, while others build their own out of Mizunara, a tree found only in Japan that provides its own peculiar flavor. Also, according to Liquor.com, in terms of production procedures, Japanese whiskey is most similar to Scotch whiskey. The major varieties produced are single malt and blends, which are matured in a variety of barrels like bourbon barrels, sherry casks, and Japanese Mizunara oak. Blending is critical in Japanese whiskey because several distilleries produce distinct types of whiskey that are wedded together by the master blender before bottling. Japanese Whiskey Today And today, as Japanese whiskey has gained popularity in the United States, many of the clubs that celebrate it have maintained this manner of bartending giving homage to a spirit that was precisely crafted as to scotch whiskey. It continues to create a ripple effect for everyone who loves it that once you try these two whiskeys, there's no for sure a big difference. This whiskey might not be originated in Scotland and might not be the original scotch whiskey. But at the end of the day, scotch whiskey lovers will love Japanese whiskey because of its same sturdy flavor, meticulous process, and of course the colorful culture of what this whiskey has to offer. These two whiskeys might have differences from the country they came from, the duration of making, and all the sophisticated processes. Still, whiskeys are whiskeys. They are all worth being tossed and enjoyed by everyone from around the world. So, what do you think of Japanese whiskey? Would you also love it? Would you possibly try it? Well, let us know in the comment section down below. And what about clicking our featured video about the 10 best scotch whiskeys that you might want to try if you're one of the whiskey lovers out there? Also check out more of our featured content by visiting our channel. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Advanced Mixology. See you later!